Hello and welcome to this tutorial, which is actually an addition to my last tutorial, which you can find over here. This is what we have now. And this will be the final result. We will make a camera that pans around the ball. So let's add a circle. Change the plane to XZ and increase the radius to 4000. After that, add a camera. We'll choose the target camera. This is what a target camera does. It will always point to the target. So if we change the position of the target, the camera still follows it. We will keep it in the middle so it will point at the ball. Now we want to align the camera to the circle spline. In order to do that, click with the right mouse button on the camera, select Cinema 4D Text, Align to Spline. Now drag the circle into the spline path, like this. And as you see, the camera is lined up with the circle spline. Now we can adjust the position of the camera by changing the position value. Now we will create keyframes in order to get some camera movement. Go to frame 0, hold command or control on the keyboard and hit the icon next to the position. Now the icon will turn red. That means frame 0 has a keyframe on the position value. Go to frame 450. Change the position value to 90% and do the same, make a keyframe. Now we have our second keyframe. Cinema 4D will calculate the position based on those two keyframes. Go to the project settings and change the maximum time value and preview max time to value 600. After that, go to the emitter, select the particle tab and change the lifetime of the marbles to 600. Now we will bring some movement in the height of the circle on which the camera pans. So go back to frame zero, select the circle, Go to the coordinate step and change the Y value to minus 1000. Make it a keyframe and go to frame 450 and change the Y value to 1500 and make it a keyframe. We have a black icon here. That means that the camera in perspective view is off. Hit it and it will become white. This means that the camera is active. So this is how the animation looks right now. Go to the ball, select Collider Body, Dynamics, and here you will see that the collider is enabled. Next to it you will see a keyframe button. This means we can turn on and off the collider with our keyframes. So go to frame 450, make a keyframe, go one frame forward, and check Enabled and make a keyframe. What will happen is that the collider body will not be active from frame 451. So all the marbles will fall down. When the marbles fall down, we will track them with the camera. So select the camera target, select frame 450, make a keyframe at the Y value, go to frame 521 and change the value to minus 3000. One of the last things we will do is create a floor. Bring the height down to minus 3000. You will see a square, but the floor will cover the whole horizontal space. And let's make a material for it. Make the color black and check specular. Add a reflection and change it to 10%. Add the material to the floor. And the last thing you have to do is add a collider body to the floor. So the marbles bounce against the floor. Render it and enjoy the result. Oh, there is one last thing. You see the HDRI image in the reflection of the floor. In order to change that, go to the sky compositing tag, hit the tab exclusion and drag the floor into the area below. Well, this was it. I hope you liked it. You learned something. My name is Freddy Korpshoek and I will see you next time. Here is a little bonus for if you have After Effects. Double click in the project area to import footage, 
find your sequence that you rendered with Cinema 4D and import it as a sequence. Here you have the video. Click with your right mouse button on the sequence, select interpret footage, main, and change the frame rate to 25. Make a new composition by dragging the sequence to this icon and add Real Smart Motion Blur, a plugin by Revision. It will create some motion blur in the scene to make it more realistic. After you have done that, you can, if you want to, add some glow to the sequence. You can play around with it until you are fully satisfied. See you next time!